right guys if you're here you must have a few seconds to spare to see if you can read and recognize some of our year two common exception words with my speedy set of six words this is set 17 are you ready to see if you can recognize the correct spellings of some of our common exception words for each one shout out the number of the correct spelling when you spot it Okay, now last time we did find, so if you remember how to spell find, you should be able to use what you know about the ind sound to help you spell behind. B E I N D behind. Is it number one, number two, or number three? Now the word behind has got the little word, word inside of words, be. I want to be a super speller this year. Is it number one, number two, or number three? It's number one, well done, B-E-H-I-N-D. Now, if you can spell find and behind, you should be able to spell mind. It's the same ind sound at the end. M-I-N-D, M-I-N-D. You've got to remember that the letter I is saying its letter name in that word, and that will help you. I think you spotted it. That's it, number three, M-I-N-D, well done. What about wild? Wild. Another word where the letter I is not saying I, it's saying its letter name, it's saying I. Maybe that'll give you a bit of a clue. Wild. Wild. Now, this is not a verb. Wild is an adjective. So you can put a D at the end of adjectives. I know I'm teaching you never just a D, got to be a D, but that's when it's a doing word, when it's a verb. This is a description word, an adjective, wild. So you can add what you hear for this one. It's so confusing, isn't it, guys? But I'm here to help you with it. Wild. Think you spotted it? Number one, number two, or number three? There it is, number two, W-I-L-D. Well done. What about hour? The lesson lasts about an hour. Now, this is a maths word. One of the letters in this word doesn't say anything. There is the word inside of a word, hour, like our class or our class is amazing. Okay, you just need to know this one, hour. The lesson lasts about an hour. Number one, number two, or number three. Have you seen that word before? Think, think, think. Think you've got it? It's number two. H-O-U-R. Well done. What about could? Still causing some issues at school. Could. It would be easier if it was number two, but spelling isn't that easy. Okay. Oh, you little duck. What does that mean? How does that help us? We did would last week. We need to do could today. Think you've spotted it? Is it number one, number two, or number three? There it is. Well done. Number three. C-O-U-L-D. Oh, you little duck. Marvellous. Okay. Last one of this speedy six. Money. Money. Now, this would be much easier if it was an uh sound. But if you know how to spell Monday, money has the same sound. The letter O is actually making the O sound. So confusing, and I might have given you too much help, but I'm here to help you. Shh, don't tell anyone though. Okay, money, number one, number two, or number three. And it's got monkey in a trolley, E, E, E at the end. It's just the M, UN that's tricky in this one. Think you've spotted it? And the answer is number three, M, O, N, E, why? Leave me a like if you knew all of those and you'll be joining in next time. Bye for now.